thank you very much for inviting me. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a privilege, and uh, I'm, it's, it's a very timely topic. And what I'm going to try to do today is to get through the slides a bit quite quick and leave quite a bit of time, because I have a feeling that there's going to be quite a bit of questions and answers and shouting and arguing and so on at the end of this. Um, so what I was... Uh, I, I sent out a tweet uh, um, a couple of hours ago saying um, I'm going to try and debunk some of the stuff that's going on in the press at the moment. And, of course, Steve Wheeler immediately retweeted it to his 2,000 followers, and now I've got a firewall going on on, on, on Twitter with people telling me that uh, uh, talking about disruption in education is, uh, is old hat. Well, it kind of is old hat, but it's also kind of not old hat. Um, so I, uh, let's leave this question. How are MOOCs disrupting... Um, uh, the educational landscape. And I'll try and answer my view on this as we go along, uh, and, and my university's view, and a few others. So my university, yeah, it's Southampton. It's right down there in the south of, uh, of, of England. Um, we are the place that um, lots of ships go from. The Titanic famously sailed from Southampton, um, as did the Mayflower. So we, we, we have a few disasters all at our feet. Um, uh, and we're a Russell Group University, as James said, and we're kind of pretty excellent in the, um, the, uh, the engineering space. That's our kind of area of expertise, uh, computer science, engineering, um, and also, I suppose, living on the sea, oceanography is, is, a, is a big area for us as well. And the interesting thing here was that back in 2012, um, uh, my vice-chancellor, along with a few other vice-chancellors from Russell Group Universities, went on one of those jollies organised by the British Council off to the Far East somewhere to go and tell people how good British education was. And in the group was Martin Bean. There's something about them all being Australians, actually. There was a whole group of Australian um, uh, vice-chancellors all together. And, and they got together on this trip and they said, why don't we do this MOOC thing that seems to be going on at the moment? And they came back and they got all enthusiastic and my vice-chancellor summoned me into his office in <coughs> December 2012 and said, Hugh, we're going to do MOOCs. Um, you seem to be the person who's got the money and the staff and so on, so do MOOCs, would you? Um, so I said, OK, I'm not quite sure I approve of this. Um, some of the stuff I've seen looks very good. Some of it looks rubbish. Uh, and what I did was I called a, a meeting in a lecture room about this sort of size, because it was the one that was available, um, after Christmas. On the first day, we were back from, um, after Christmas. And the room was absolutely packed. I, we had people standing all around 